Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video I'm going to show you how to find the hardware specifics of your computer. Check it out. Now that we're over here at the computer, it's going to be a very straightforward process. We're going to actually look at two different ways that you can get to the same information. And again, this is just to check the hardware specs of your computer. So what you're going to want to do is this is your desktop here and you're going to want to find your start menu down in the bottom left hand corner where the little Windows flag is. Go ahead and right click on that. This is on Windows 10. However, uh, we'll show you a second way that is very familiar to those that are using Windows 7 um, and Windows 8 as well will be very similar to Windows 10. So for Windows 10, you just come on down to the flag, actually Windows 8 to Windows 10, you can come on down to the flag, right click on it, and then left click on system. That'll bring up another window and this will give you a breakdown of all your specifications on your computer. You've got your about section. It shows you that your PC is being monitored and protected by Windows Defender. And then this is the, sp the spot that we're looking at specifically because if you've owned a computer for a long period of time, you've probably been asked once or twice before, what is the hardware specs of your computer? What CPU do you have? How much RAM do you have, etc.? And so you can see that all information listed right here. So you've got your device name, which is what your device computer is called. You've got your processor, your installed RAM, device and product ID. Those are just IDs that are given to you when the operating system is installed. And then what type of system it is. It's a 64-bit or 32-bit operating system. And then you can come on down a little bit further and you can take a look at the Windows specifications, which gives you the Windows operating system specs where you've got your version, you've got your OS build. So if you are on Windows 7 or even Windows Vista, you can come on down and open up your file explorer window that looks very similar to this. And then up here, you're gonna have a little option that says system properties. Go ahead and left click that. And again, it's going to take you to the exact same spot. If this doesn't look familiar to you, if you come over here in the top right hand corner, click on system info, this is gonna bring you up to the old control panel visual gra uh, graphical interface where it still breaks down the basic information, your processor, RAM, computer name, and then it will let you know if your Windows is activated or not. So again, this is the old way. This is what looks, this is uh, basically uh, pre-Windows 10. This is more or less like Windows 7 and Windows Vista is what this window will look like. And then if you're on Windows 8 and Windows 8.8, 8.1 and higher, this is the window that you're going to see. It's going to look very similar to that. Thanks everyone for tuning in to this week's tech tip. If you liked the video or found the video useful, give it a like, give it a share, leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe and we will see you next time.